Have you ever had a case of the Mondays? Well, this video is a perfect example. Things just kept going wrong, but it's still a special video because today I am doing a collab with one of my dear friends, the Painted Dreamer, also known as Jody. She is a phenomenal acrylic, uh, fluid acrylic artist, and I would say her specialty is definitely blooms. She's the experiment queen. She experiments more than I do. And we just decided to come together and do um, some deconstructed blooms. And when I say everything on my end deconstructed from the first video, um, it was recording and then it stopped midway through. And then I dropped my cell activator um, so that is completely gone and then I couldn't get anything that I liked to get and it's just been a mess. To top things off, I have misplaced my microphone and having to use my backup, which does not sound nearly as good. But without further ado, this is Garrett Brown Art Studios and the Painted Dreamer and we are going to get started. So this is my base coat for today. I am using one part house paint to one part flow acrylic white by Artist Loft. And I add about an ounce of GAC 800 and about two ounces of water to the mix. I mix my paints up in a one liter container. So it is a bit thinner than I normally do for my regular blooms. If you look very closely, you will see that my paint um, was a bit separated. And uh, when I started to pour out the teal, it came out very watery. And that ultimately led to um, this bloom being a fail. Um, I saw it. There was nothing I could do about it. So you live and you learn. That's one of the things you get when you use paint that has been sitting for a while. As you can see, I got some really good cells on the outside, but you will see that that watery uh, paint in the center really messed up my bloom.
So we're gonna get you in for a close up because there were some good light singing cells um, that I still wanna show you, um, but it's no need to go any further with this one. This base cup of paint is just a collection of all the paint that one is not on the table and that I have used for this one video.
got to deconstruct this thing a little bit more. I really haven't done much. So I'm going to try something that I've never done before. I'm going to just take an old hair pick of mine. And we're going to swipe it down. Oh, that actually wasn't bad. I love what that, the effect that was created with that. So we're going to try it again up here. So I like how the entire bloom is not disturbed. So I'm going to try and do just this part as well. And I'm going to try and do this area right here. And just like that, I went too far. Um, I feel like I've lost the cool look that I had. So we're going to call this an somewhat deconstructed abstract bloom. <laughs> Let me get you guys in for a final close up. So glad I added the yellow into the mix. Um, I got gorgeous cells. And these. this is the effect from my hair pick I didn't disturb the center of the bloom well actually I did when I continued to spin but oh man look at all those gorgeous cells and that lacing all those beautiful colors that were created I love this part Thank you guys for joining in today. I know it's been a bit of a roller coaster, but you have to show the good and the bad. Sometimes people think that uh, people on YouTube who have kind of gotten into a groove don't make mistakes, but we make mistakes and sometimes you just have to show it. So I can be the first one to admit this was definitely not my favorite video, but I hope you got something good out of it. Once again, don't forget to check out Jody um, with the Painted Dreamer. Um, her information is below. And as always, family, remember, do every single thing with love. Treat your friends, your family, and even your enemies with love. Until the next time, peace.